morning, guys. Good morning, and welcome to Good Morning with Gillis. Ta-da. Bottom pump. Anyways, let's get started right away. We got some hot jokes fresh off the press. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First joke today is, why didn't the melons get married? Why didn't the melons get married? I'm learning. Because they're cantaloupe. <laughs> get it? They cantaloupe? Cantaloupe? Melons? But I'm fine. But okay, maybe not. All right, let's do another one. What did the snail say while riding on a turtle? What did he say? Wee! <laughs> get it? Turtles are slow. Snails are slow. Oh, my God. That wasn't that good, was it? Okay. I'll give you one more. Let's try this. What's the first thing a monster eats after getting his teeth fixed? What? What's the first <laughs> thing a monster eats after getting his teeth okay, fixed? Okay, this is a routine. So what does he eat? The dentist. Get it? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm just starting to learn that I have to repeat what he says. You hit the camera. <laughs> okay, so we thought we'd bring it in light, okay? It's it's important for us to just remember who has this season in his hands. Today's devotion is taken out of the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. God allows things to happen for a reason. Sometimes we don't understand. Sometimes we don't agree. But we have to trust. We have to know that he has a plan. We have to know that he has control of all situations. And whatever goes on, it's his to do. What do you think? Yeah, sometimes I just don't like it. <laughs> Especially during this season that we're so far apart from one another. You know, it, it's hard being away from you guys, you know. Um, we praise God that that we can be part of your life still. And we can go ahead and just keep um, connecting like we do. But it, it, sometimes it's hard to understand. And sometimes we get worried, and sometimes, you know, um, we don't understand what God is doing. All we have to do is trust in the Lord. And He has a better plan than what we could ever imagine. I remember one um, one little thing on Facebook that I seen was the little girl, uh, Jesus was asking for the balloon, you know, from the little girl. And the little girl didn't want to give up. No, it was a small little teddy bear. And, um, and Jesus was asking for it. And the little girl said no. But Jesus behind him had a huge teddy bear, you know, that, that he wanted to give her and bless her with. Sometimes that's the way it is that we don't understand the bigger blessings on some things and stuff. So um, I know most of you guys already have heard that one of our students uh, was tested positive for the covid and we just wanted to make sure that we come out here and tell you guys we don't understand it. We don't like it. We uh, hate this stuff that's going around. But we have to trust what God is doing. And we don't understand it. But that's where the scriptures come in and our devotions come in to take us and redirect us back. So we want to continue praying for this family. We want to continue praying for the student. Yell and I... Uh, were able to talk to him. He was eating dinner and and uh, having some soup, and he was in good spirits. It's a better day today and stuff, so it was a good thing. Uh, that it, it just made me feel real good to be able to hear his voice and stuff, so you were able to talk to him. Yeah, I got to talk to him, too, and, you know, he sounded good, so we just continue to pray. And He says hello to everybody. He says hello to everybody, and we'll see him soon. You know who you are, my friend. <laughs> and um, he's real happy with all the love that's being shot out and all the prayers through Facebook. So 
you know, um, make sure that you keep uh, loving on him. You know, he's not alone. We're here beside him. We can't be in there hugging him and being, you know, there physically, but he is seeing the stuff. Okay. So be encouraged with that. Your messages are getting to him. All right. And this um, is where also, you know, we talk about we need to stay connected. Phone calls, text messages, videos, pictures. It keeps us all family. It keeps us tight. So keep up coming. You know, stay involved. Don't just look at it and not do anything. Let us know what you're doing. So we know what's going on in your life. As well as whenever there's a need, as we always say every week, you need to talk, call us. If you need prayer, call us. We're here for you guys. Mm -hmm. Nothing changes there. Moving on, though, Liz has some exciting news about a class tomorrow. Today. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no, first, before we talk about anything else, okay, let's talk about we're getting all the packet ready, all the new stuff that's coming in. Uh, we're trying to make sure everything comes in. The hard thing is, right now during this season, I can't go to Hobby Lobby. And I'm, I'm having withdrawals. And even um, shopping online is so hard. It's so hard. They limit everything that you can buy, just like the stores. Um, and things, you don't get the discounts like you would at a regular store. Things like that are all happening and stuff. But our stuff is coming in. So I couldn't get the regular ones. But I'm going to show you a little bit, a sneak peek on the new packets that are coming out. So everybody would get one of these. It's a 12 by 12. And only because I couldn't get the other ones. And then I couldn't get the the ones that you guys have. So I ended up getting a little one. So sorry, my bad. But not my bad. It's just whatever is out there and stuff. Where uh, we got gifted some stuff from different places. And um, we're starting a new, a new class. We want to work on because we've been painting we love painting and the acrylics are fun and we still have that going but i brought watercolors in and stuff so you'll see some new classes coming in on watercoloring and techniques um in addition to the classes that you see i would like to see and even i'll post some on jp at home we'll post some uh youtube classes and how to paint a flower because you know what it's different I was painting the way we normally paint it with watercolors, and man, did I blow it. I haven't painted watercolors in a couple of decades at least. But anyway, this is new that's coming up. That's all the new stuff coming up. And then tomorrow, no, 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 it's today. It's today. Today after this and stuff, we get ready for our class online. We're going to try something new. It's on YouTube, and it's going to be all the leaders and teachers, uh, as many as we can make and come. They'll be teaching and painting, and it's a hangout. We, what we want you guys to do is text us the work, the work that you guys are doing, and then we're going to post them on Facebook. So we're going to be able to talk and post, talk and post. Something new, we thought we'd give it a try. Um, but we'll see how it works tomorrow. Class starts at 10. Okay. And you can actually go to, uh, JP at home and click on that video and it'll take you straight there. All right. So we'll be there. Hopefully we can see you guys and who shows up and your comments and everything. And hopefully, um, everybody will be able to come because it's going to be something new, something different. So how do you get it again? You go to JP at home. JP at home, mm -hmm. and it's going to come out like if there's a video posting, you know, the videos that we have, and all you do is click on that, touch that, and it's going to take you to the um, YouTube uh, page for Jeremiah's place, okay? So, th just like you're watching a video, but it's going to take you to YouTube Live. Liz, is there any other way that they can go and find that video later on today? Yeah, actually, they can go to YouTube. Just go to YouTube, go to Jeremiah's place, okay? And you guys have done it. You guys have watched the videos and stuff. And you can just go directly there. You don't have to be on Facebook. You can go directly to the Jeremiah's place uh, YouTube channel, okay? Awesome. All right, moving on. 
the April Costume Challenge. Just a minute, though, before we get started with that. You know that gorilla, he's been getting into everything lately, and we think we finally got him under control. We got him put somewhere where he's not av available. He won't get into your coffee cup. He won't get in my coffee cup. He won't, won't get put on my robe. robe, and I don't throw chanclas at him. So he's under control. But with that being said, we got to remind you guys, okay, uh, keep posting your pictures or short videos at JP at home, okay? And what's going to be fun is to finish seeing everybody doing their costumes. I know there's some getting worked on and stuff, but we're excited to uh, just see all the fun stuff coming. You know, have you guys seen some of those? I mean, our leaders have been posting some of that stuff up. Got that dinosaur thing going, and I know they were telling me to costume, but I don't know what to be. I'm already an old woman can do the sexy mama. Anyways, last but not least, just a reminder: wash your hands. I got Mr. Crocodile here from Jimmy. It's his sanitizer because I my monkey is tied up, so I keep this. And I just use it and wash my hands. Remember, you're going to sing for 20 seconds if you're using soap and water and you don't have a sanitizer. But let's be safe. Let's take care of ourselves and the people around us. Share it with somebody. Would you like some sanitizer? You know, one thing, let me, let me talk about that for just one minute. You know, when, when we go out, you know, I, we don't go out. Gil is usually the one that goes out and gets our stuff and everything. But, you know, always remember you're washing hands, maybe not for yourself, but for the person next to you. Because what if, you know, your hands are dirty and stuff? Yeah, I don't care. You know, but you never know about the other person that's around you. So don't always think about you and you get tired. Because I, I always say we're not going to have fingerprints by the time this is all over because we use so much. But do it for each other. Do it. Uh, to keep each other healthy and our student that right now is sick right now and we're praying for want to know we love you so much buddy we love you so much and um, we were so excited to hear his voice it, it made everything so much better so don't forget wash your hands wash your hands wash your hands wash your hands with that, we'll see you next time. Until then, God bless. Love you guys. Have a good one. Would you like some sanitizer?